I am Hayden Penetier, and we are here at the studio recording Until Dawn. My name is Rami Malik, and I play. I just want to My name is Megan Martin. My name is Brett Dalton. My name is Antonella Lentini, and I played Hannah and Beth. My name is Jordan Fisher, and I play the character Matthew, Matt for short. I'm Nicole Bloom, and I play Emily in the game. My name is Noah Fleiss. I am Galadriel Steinman, and I play Ashley. So Until Dawn is the story of eight teenagers who uh, revisit this cabin in the woods about a year later after a, a really traumatic experience where I've lost two of my sisters, so coming to kind of get some closure in that respect. One of the things that Larry does really well is make these multi-layered characters, and I think for just the story in general, it's, it follows the quintessential horror film plot lines, but the characters are so unique in themselves, and I think that's very cool. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. Sam, Sam and I have uh, a few things in common, such as being huge lovers of animals. And she's a huge animal lover. She's vegan, she, um, she is a pacifist. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go as far as saying that I'm a pacifist, but uh, she's spunky and cool. I know that she, I think, is, is made fun of a little bit by the rest of them who, who think that her morals and her beliefs in that area are a little ridiculous and they don't agree with them, but she doesn't care. It doesn't stop her from being herself, and that's something that I hope I have in common with her. You know, he definitely uh, can be depressed at some times and a bit of a loner, but he, he takes some solace in one of his sister's friends, Sam, played by Hayden Penetier, and uh, invites everybody back to the same house the next year to kind of find some closure. Jessica is, she has a whole lot of personality. She is definitely the sort of mean girl character that, you know, at school she, she knows she's pretty, she knows that boys like her and she's gonna use it to her advantage. He's got a big heart and you can tell that that's very evident, especially how he treats his girlfriend, Emily, and um, you know, he's, he's kind of a meathead, but in the best way possible. She really knows what she wants, and she manages to to get that from whomever it is, whether it be Matt I or Mike. I mean, it's you know, yeah. in, I can definitely relate yeah, to it's that. Tall, my, my character is uh, Chris, and he is uh, what society might consider the nerd of the group, um, and and he kind of embraces it. Um, Ashley is, she's a little more serious than some of the other girls. Um, she's definitely very intelligent and, and thoughtful. She kind of looks at the whole big picture of things. She's not quite as geeky as Chris, but they connect in a lot of ways. Mike is like the guy on campus. He's uh, the class president who has some charm and has, has a brain. And I, I don't know, people seem to like Mike. He gets away with a lot, though. He's, he can be kind of kind of jerky. The fact that he, he really just kind of wants everyone to be happy when he wants for, he's, he's a people pleaser. And um, it's, I can, I can definitely attest to being, you know, that guy. I'm, I'm always the friend that wants everybody to be happy and wants everybody to be taken care of. And that's definitely Matt. But also, like, this character is just so fun. I rarely get to play the bitch, and so it was really, it was really fun. <laughs> it's a, it's not the spirit thing. of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I just think this is just the coolest thing to be a part of, and um, I just think it's going to take the world by storm. I really do. I think this genre is the wave of the future, and I think that... Um, once people see the potential behind it uh, of getting to interact with the drama that you're witnessing unfold um, in such a realistic way, um, that this, this is how entertainment's going to be from now on.